This is One Child Charge Kids. Kids online. I hope you've had a good week. Now, this week we are going to be talking about how Jesus' love is for everyone. But to kick us off this week, we have our Kids vs. Grown Up Challenge. Okay, Isella, our challenge is to build the puzzle in the fastest time possible. Okay, and we got our timer on the phone and we're going to see who's the winner. Okay? No, me, me, me! <laughs> Ready, Stella? Yeah. On your marks. Get set. Go! This is a story of Zacchaeus, the man who didn't have any friends. There was once a man who didn't have any friends. None. Do you have any friends? Well, of course you do, but not Zacchaeus. Poor Zacchaeus didn't have any. You're probably wondering why. Was it because he was so short? That's not a reason not to like someone. Was it because he had a name that was hard to say? Well, neither is that. Even though he was short, and he did have a funny name, that wasn't it. No, people didn't like Zacchaeus because he stole their money. Zacchaeus collected taxes Taxes were what people had to pay the king. But Zacchaeus took more than he was supposed to and kept the extra money for himself and made himself rich. Everyone knew what he was up to and it made them cross and angry. They didn't like Zacchaeus one bit. Anyway, one day a huge crowd gathered by the road. Jesus was coming to their town and everyone wanted to see him. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus too, but everyone was too tall. He tried jumping up and down, but that didn't work. He couldn't see a thing. Luckily, Zacchaeus had a good idea. I'll climb that sycamore tree, he said. So he did. He was surprisingly good at climbing trees for a man who was so unusually short that he had to take a flying leap just to get into his chair in the morning. From the tree, Zacchaeus had the perfect view all the way down the road. 
Another minute and suddenly Jesus was at the tree. He stopped and looked up. Zacchaeus saw Jesus and Jesus saw Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, Jesus said, I'd like to come over to your house. Zacchaeus almost fell out of the tree. Come over to his house? No one wanted to come over to his house or anywhere near it, let alone inside it. The people saw this and, needless to say, it made them even crosser and grumpier than usual. They mumbled and murmured and muttered. Why is Jesus being kind to that big sinner? Jesus doesn't know about him. Zacchaeus scrambled down and took Jesus to his house. He was in a big hurry because he didn't want Jesus to change his mind. Perhaps Jesus hadn't heard about him. Perhaps Jesus didn't know about how he had been stealing and how no one liked him and how he didn't have any friends. But Jesus knew. He knew all about Zacchaeus and the stealing and everything. And he still loved him. Zacchaeus was ashamed. Lord, he said, turning pale. What I've done is wrong. But now I want to do the right thing. I will give the money back to everyone. Four times what I stole. And that's just what he did. Jesus smiled. My friend, he said, today God has rescued you. Jesus loved Zacchaeus when nobody else did. He was Zacchaeus' friend even when no one else was because Jesus was showing people what God's love was like. His wonderful, never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. So that was our story. Now Zacchaeus, he wasn't a very kind man. In fact, not many people liked him at all because of the way that he treated everyone. But Jesus still wanted to spend time with him. Jesus still wanted to show him love. And because of that, Zacchaeus's life was changed. He became kind again. Now we should be like Jesus. From the kindest person to the meanest person, Jesus' love is for everyone. And we should show love to everyone too. Let's pray. Dear God, I pray that you will help us to be like Jesus. You will help us to love everyone. But also help us to remember that even when we have good days or bad days, that actually Jesus still loves us the same. Amen. So this is our memory verse this week. We love because God loved us first. 1 John 4 verse 19. Let's read it together. We love because God loved us first. 1 John 4 verse 19. Why not look it up in the Bible with your grown up after you've finished this video? Right, we're coming to the end of our video this week. If you want to see the story again, then actually Saddleback Kids have a great video that you can watch. The link is in the description below, so check that out after this. Also, I put the link to a worship song that we used to do all the time in kids' work when we met in our church buildings. So put that on as well afterwards and see how many of the actions you can remember. Right, that's it for this week. Have a wonderful week, everybody. See you soon.